Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to share the recipe for Kerala style appam, a traditional breakfast of Kerala. To start with, we'll use any white rice. I'm using idli rice here. I have taken three cups of idli rice. Wash and soak the rice for at least four to six hours. After six hours, we'll grind the rice in a wet grinder. I am using ultra wet grinder. I shall leave the link in the description box. Grind the rice to a coarse mixture. After that, we need to ferment it along with coconut. There are two ways to ferment the rice batter. In the first method, we will keep aside two tablespoons of the rice batter and cook it to form something called kapi. Kapi will be added to the rice batter after mixing coconut. In the second method, we'll be using cooked rice and yeast to ferment the batter. I'll show you both the methods here. I have taken two cups of coconut and I'm going to grind them in the mixer and make into a smooth paste. Now we are going to add this coconut paste to the ground rice batter and grind them together very well. After that, in the first method, we will add the already cooked kapi, which is cooled down. Mix well and keep in a warm place for up to 8 hours to ferment. In the second method, we will add 1 to 2 tablespoons of cooked rice along with half a teaspoon of yeast to the rice coconut batter. Grind them well. Also add 1 tablespoon of sugar which will help the yeast to ferment the batter. Whichever method you use to make the batter, please let it ferment for about 8 hours. I usually turn on the light in the oven and keep the batter near the light so that it will keep it warm. The batter is well fermented after 8 hours. Now we will use this batter to make appams. As you can see the batter is of a thin consistency. Take required batter in a bowl and add salt to taste and 1 to 2 tablespoons of sugar. Now we need a pan and to oil the pan, coconut oil or gingerly oil can be used, which is a sesame seed oil. Here I am using an iron pan, which has a nice depression. So that helps to get the shape of the appam correctly. Now once you pour the batter, you need to turn the pan like this to get the right shape for the appam and then cover it and cook for 2-3 to three minutes. As you can see, the middle of the appam is well cooked and we don't need to turn or flip on the other side. We just take it out of the pan and serve. Appam is ready to be served. It may be served with sugar and coconut milk which will be kids favorite. Appam will also go very well with egg curry or chicken curry or chickpeas masala. Appams are very delicious with their rice and coconut flavor along with the sweetness. Please try out this recipe and let me know how you felt in the comments. Thank you.